I am taking advantage of the arrival of autumn to take care of the blonde part of my hair. A new habit that I have been trying to make consistent for the past few months is to buy a flower bouquet that represented the season in which we were and to be able to put our home in that mood and in that vibe. I was especially excited about Autumn, so after the hairdresser I went to my favorite flower shop and the lady picked up Autumn color flowers for me. If you have been following me for a while, then you know that it has been in the recent years that I started celebrating and embracing the goodness of every single season. And while spring is my season, my favorite time of the year is Halloween and I get beyond excited with the arrival of autumn. I know for some of you this video might be a little bit late, but for me autumn does not happen in August and it does not happen with the start of September. As a person from the south of Spain, I'm used to the cold not coming until late October. Um, and even though I now live in a place where the cold comes earlier, it's just what I'm used to. And also how my mom showed me to embrace this time of the year, it was always late September and beginning of October. So for me, I made it a tradition to decorate and welcome autumn from the 27th of September to the 1st of October. Normally, I always decorate having some tea while the sunset is taking place um, to see if I like the decorative lights, but this year it just happened in a different way and I decided not to think too much about it and just go with it. So. After grabbing some greens from the groceries, I prepared my green smoothie because I was feeling a little bit bloated and it's just what I felt like I needed. You may be wondering why celebrate or welcome autumn. Autumn is a time of reflection. In fact, it's when I start getting ready to do my life reset before the new year. Leaves start falling in autumn, which is a symbol of letting go from what no longer serves you and making room for the things you truly want in your life. It's a time to be grateful for what you have. It's a time to evaluate what is missing, what new projects you would love to start and what you no longer need to hold on to. Good morning. I feel like I haven't showed you my hair. <laughs> um, I really was tired already of all the blonde that I had, so I wanted to go back to my natural hair, which my natural color, which is this one. I was so happy because he he was very um, how do you say like he didn't want it to touch the roots, so he put like a semi permanent color from here down so I think it's really good so this way we didn't we don't um, damage my roots and like the natural color um, and then he cut a very big uh, piece because my hair was quite damaged so I think I'm very happy with the result although I just woke up so it's a bit messy um, I'm having a coffee right now and um, even though the sun is out, I can feel the temperature is very autumn-like, so I'm going to take advantage now and I was going to say finish decorating, but it's not really finished. All I did was put the flowers, so I'm just going to continue with um, the decoration. Um, I have three doggies. One is living today. Um, so yeah, there's a lot happening. This is Einstein. He's so cute and he is 11 years old. This cutie is Max. He's young. He's two years old. He loves to play, right? And he barks whenever he listens to other doggies barking. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe you have heard me saying this before, but I am trying to be as sustainable as I can. So I decided to not have a massive autumn and Halloween shopping list and reuse what I already have. So in order to have a, a feeling of new exciting things, I decided to try placing some of the decoration in different places from where I normally put them. And actually, this is my advice here. If you're decorating your home, maybe you can test several different decorations, several different locations in your home and see what fits best. Because at the end of the day, this is your home and it's you who should feel comfortable, calm and at peace when you're there. So for me this year, I just gave myself a little treat with um, a new flower jar which I saw in my favorite flower shop when I was getting my flowers and just the color spoke to me and I was just like oh my god this is perfect for autumn it has the perfect color then I got some essential oils that I have been wanting to get for years now and also like two very small cute pumpkin cushions <laughs> um, also been wanting those for a very long time so that is what I treated myself with small stop in the decoration process. I have this small cutie um, candle holders that I don't know really where to put um, and also I have like this pumpkin trays. Um, I think I want to put one on the coffee table and I also have this cutie which is also for a candle so this year I didn't buy any new candles um, I have this two candles that I got last year from a brand that uses natural um, uh, like herbs and nat like soy wax and as less as possible in the toxins field um, however they're not really empty but they're like this so they're really hard to um, to lit and this one also you see it's really really deep and I cannot really reach it so because I have bought some autumn scents including pumpkin spice and cinnamon and my lovely fiance got me as a Christmas present some soy wax so that I could make my own candles I am going to mix this wax with some new one put a little bit of scent and just like kind of recreate these candles to not waste them and also this is glass so i can use them and i already like the labels so
pencils out of sand, reaching for the ground. and I just arrived back home uh, we wanted to buy a few things and I think we ended up buying uh, more than we expected so I'm just going to quickly show you some of the things that I got I saw this small cute pumpkins um, and I thought it was a good idea to use them as a decoration and also this white one I don't think I've ever had anything like this one, like white and this shape. I think it's really, really cute. Also, maybe you know from my Instagram stories or my previous videos, I have been suffering a lot with my period and my PMS. So I found this tea on the way. So I'm just gonna try it. And I'm actually right now on my period as we speak. So maybe this helps. I got some protein powder for me finding the right protein powder is very difficult because i always read the nutritional value right here and i always want to make sure that it has every single amino acid and it's really hard because sometimes when you see protein it just says protein on the back not really how many amino acids they have so i found this one and i was convinced to give it a try and then we are going to have some sushi for dinner jorge is actually making it um homemade and keto friendly and we bought all the ingredients in a thai shop and i ended up buying tea so i got matcha tea this one right here and then two that I had always back home in Spain and then I came here and I could never find one is Sencha which is great for autumn because it helps with colds and flu um, and also it's it has a lot of antioxidants and then Olan tea which is known for its big anti-cancer properties so yeah I always have this at home well used to have them always and then I couldn't find them. So I'm so happy that I, I popped into them in the shop today. Today I received this package and I wanted to share it with you also. I have been wanting a pair of comfortable and super warm Uggs for quite some time. And I was thinking about getting the ones with the red detail, but I have gone ahead and chosen this ones because I think they're more my style. And I just wanted to share that I have gotten them secondhand because there are a lot of people selling this and as I told you before, I'm trying to be like sustainable. Um, so yeah, maybe you want to think about that option in case you're thinking of getting ones too. And they're so pretty. This was like the right choice.
always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Good morning. We are on our way to the market. What time is it? Around 11? Something like 11. Half past 11. Half past 11. And I don't know what we're going to get. What are we going to get? Uh, lettuce. Lettuce? Vegetables. Vegetables. Uh, onion. Onions. And pepper. Peppers. You're a diamond in a rough. Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul Strong. You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past. I couldn't resist myself and I got one tiny white pumpkin and because here i've got like the white thing going i thought maybe it would be nice to have it here but i'm not sure um maybe like this Pretty little thing. another reason for loving this time of the year is because it is the time of the year to watch Harry Potter and Gilmore Girls over and over again. And not to mention all the autumn and Halloween movies and TV shows have cozy plants at home, wear oversized sweaters and super soft robes, drink pumpkin spice latte, plan your Halloween costume, cook Halloween treats, carve pumpkins and prepare for the longer and colder nights that are starting to slowly arrive. In the ritual of welcoming autumn, I also like to take my time to just go through my notion and start looking into my goals in terms of my business and my personal life. I like doing some paper planning and just writing down how I'm feeling and how I'm looking forward to feel so that I can have a clearer vision of the necessary steps to take. I use my planner from the Inspired Stories. It's one of my favorite brands for planning and also I love the fact that not only they focus on planning but also provide some journaling prompts to help with life reflection and evaluation. At the end of the month I try to see what were my biggest wins and lessons, what goals I managed to work on, how they're progressing and how I have been feeling and what areas of my life I can improve in the next month. Then I hop on to the next month and see what the intention of the month is going to be, what different goals I want to focus on and I try to specify as much as I can what steps for each different goal I can take in order to make sure that I achieve them. After my planning, a very big self-care session was needed so I went ahead and prepared a bubble bath with some pumpkin, Gilmore Girls, and just enjoy the rest of my night. And this is where I'm going to say goodbye to you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>